if my hair was long and black and my name in real life was Carolyn Jones and I if I was on the Adams family, this You'd would be, be my trouble. husband. <laughs> You'd be in trouble right now. <laughs> my husband and his name is Gomez on the Adams family, but to uh, me and to many of his friends, his name is John Aston. And John, it's so nice to have you here. Ida, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I was uh, I was a little surprised to be hit with a little snowfall. Uh, well, yes. Came, uh, Did they tell you on the air airplane that it was snowing here? No. They didn't no. even warn you? No, indeed. No, they didn't want us to jump out. I guess. Well, you remember, real Will Rogers always said, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. Tonight it's supposed to clear up. Well, you know what happened to Will Rogers? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Oh, you know two years ago, <laughs> if you remember, I still have uh, some of the film that I showed you um, that I took when I went to Hollywood two years ago to bring back uh, personalities such as John Aston, never realizing that he would be here in person someday. And uh, this was when you were on I'm Dickens, He's Finster. That's right. Did uh, I've never seen that film. Uh, what was it like? Uh, it was great. Really, I, I've cherished the pictures that they took off of. Uh, what do we have in the background now? I think we have uh, well, the orchestra. Uh, since, uh, as you know, this is rehearsal time for the telethon. Yeah. And you got to let them know that. When is this going to be played? Uh, after the Yes, uh, this will be uh, the next week. So yeah. they, they will have uh, already, already seen, seen the telethon, and they'll know much more than we do now. That's right. <laughs> Uh, have you ever worked many telephones before? Uh, yes, I've done a f quite a few of them. Uh, I uh, I started them, I guess, during Dickens and Fenster uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, <laughs> I guess doing telephones you get used to uh, speaking up a little. Right. Not only that, uh, but I remember when I was out there, uh, you all were going on a tour. You seem to really enjoy meeting new people. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I remember you very well because we did have a lot of fun taking those yeah. pictures and uh, shooting the film. But I've always been anxious to see that film. I wondered uh, what it came out. It wasn't too destructive to me, was it? No, it was great. As a matter of fact, you had on your overall. Yeah. Well, your overall. well, I'm happier in the uh, <laughs> pinstripe suit now. Even though you're dead. Uh, and listen, tell yeah. me this. Uh, are you supposed to be uh, spirits in the Adam family? No, you know, Ida, this isn't really a monster show. You know, we don't really consider it that. Uh, we're different. I mean, we're not kidding you about that yeah. I mean uh, but uh, basically it's a comedy uh, more than it is uh, any kind of horror or, uh, or a monster show I mean we uh, we do different things and we've got some uh, rather unusual people I guess you would feel that they're unusual to us they're right. they're normal the rest of the world's a little bit unusual but uh, it's basically a comedy rather than a uh, monster or, uh, or a oh, horror kind of show that yeah. it is what uh, what's the character's name that the, the big tall uh, my kids all know him well Lurch. Oh, Lurch. Oh, yeah, Lurch. Every yeah. kid in town, you know, is named Lurch. You know, this uh, Lurch is played by a fellow named uh, Ted Cassidy. He's uh, he's really a very talented actor. Mm -hmm. uh, he would have gotten the part anyway, whether he was talented or not, but it worked out very well for us. That, uh, How tall is he, John? 6'9". Is he 6'9"? Yeah, nine? he really is. I thought uh, maybe he had on, you know, elevated shoes or something. No, uh, he doesn't. Uh, as a matter of fact, most people, when they see me in person, I'm uh, actually 6'1", but they say yeah. to me, you know, I didn't know you were, you know, I thought you were 5'1". <laughs> or something. Well, the fact is, I'm on a show uh, with a six foot nine. And uh, it makes you look shorter. Button. How tall is Carolyn Jones? Since you're talking about height. Carolyn is about. Uh, she's about five six, five seven. About my, I would about say. my height. Yeah, just about. See, all I need just is a black hair, and, and I've got yeah, you. <laughs> what about yeah, right. Marty? That used to be in I'm Dickens' yeah. Fenster. What's he doing now? Uh -huh. Well, uh, he was going to do a Broadway show, uh, and th then he decided not to. He's working on a possible new series. He's in. Uh, he's in New York right now doing. Uh, all the uh, Goods and Todman panel and uh, game shows. I haven't seen him yet. Oh you haven't? Well, uh, he's been on old Password and yeah. all those, and uh, he's doing uh, doing the Les Crane show every once in a well while. We don't too, get that here. You don't get it no, in no, Oklahoma no, City? No. Oh, well. We didn't buy it. We have m late movies yeah. instead. On all, all the stations? No. This is ABC station. Our station is yeah. ABC. You know. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't talk about the others, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> he's not <laughs> right. on the others yeah. either. No, yeah. yeah, that's right. But that Actually, uh, for your uh, uh, edification, Les Crane is on ABC, right, and that's right. what she's... Well, they know it, because oh, they we've had several people that have, you know, oh, wanted to... Oh, who have talked about it? Yeah. 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 So we, yeah. Don't, uh, we don't get it. Listen, um, what about the girl that was... Uh, she's now in another series. What, what was her name? Oh, Emmeline Henry. Emmeline. You played my wife yeah. on the Dickinson Fenster. Yeah, she's... Uh, uh, she uh, is doing uh, Mickey Rooney's wife. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah. that show is it's canceled, older. unfortunately. But uh, I think it's going to work out all right for Emmeline because uh, they're talking to her about uh, series for uh, next year. 
and uh, she's great she's to work with. Yeah, she? very very fine to work with. Yeah, we had we had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, some of my favorite scenes were the uh, arguments that uh, the two of us had. You know, yeah, the, uh, I like that. Husband, wife, sort well, of thing. I, I never could figure why I'm Dick and C. Spencer didn't stay on for years because it was really a funny, funny show. Well, it's a good reason. Uh, it was canceled, and uh, when it's canceled, it's uh, it's it. off. <laughs> Are they ever going to, uh, uh, will it be uh, sold back as a syndicated show, maybe? Oh, yeah, it has been. I guess you haven't had yeah, it here. Have no, it here. But it, it's been sold in quite a few cities uh, as a syndicated show. Well, I'm sure a lot of people didn't realize that you were the same person because that mustache no. really no. makes a difference. No, it's interesting. I, I, I grew the mustache, not for the series. I, I grew it because uh, I had done a couple of guest shots with a mustache and uh, kind of liked the way it looked, so I, really? I decided to grow it. And uh, the series came along, and uh, uh, so I had it. But uh, the funny thing is, uh, when I grew the mustache and got a different haircut and everything, uh, you know, and left the Harry Dickens uh, yeah. Bushman uh, <laughs> uh, haircut, I, uh, no recognition, nobody knew me on the street at all. And uh, so I kind of, I, I'm, I'm a little uh, different, I suppose, uh, from uh, many actors. I, I, I get a kick out of being recognized, but I, I'm also sort of a spy, you know. I like yeah. to, uh, <laughs> I like to look at other people instead of having. But uh, because you're so me. human, really, yeah. I, I would have known you. In I fact, the first time I saw the Adams family, I knew who you were. So I mean, you can't get by all of us. Well, uh, now since the show is, it's backfired yeah. on me now that the show is on the air because the mustache is instantly recognizable. Yeah, I'm sure it is. So now I'm a hunted man. Oh, you uh, need big ears, yeah. you know, and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Clark gave I got the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got the ears. Uh, all yeah. I need is the career now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have that, I'm sure. And yeah. I certainly do appreciate you um, taking the time to sit down and visit with me. It's, uh, really, I was so thrilled when they well said you were coming. I, well, I'm I'm very pleased to be here. It's nice to see you again, and I, uh, I hope I can get back. Uh, For all of you who it. came down to the auditorium to see John while he was participating in this Rebo Palsy Telethon, I'm sure you share my... Uh, opinion that he's one of the uh, most personable men that I have ever known and wish you all the success in the world. Now, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> You're just supposed to say thank you, Ida. No, I tell you, <laughs> thank you, Ida, but I would like to say one thing. I hope those of you who are seeing it have contributed uh, to the uh, uh, fight against uh, cerebral palsy. And if you haven't, uh, when you do see this, please think about it a little bit and, uh, and uh, uh, call out. Where can they call now, Ida? Uh, now, this will be played after the telethon, is Right, this will uh, be, uh, they can call the television station. They can call the station, yeah, and they'll tell you uh, where to contribute. This is a very important and worthy cause. They can just so call yeah. Central and say, Central, we want three of a palsy telethon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 call the station, and thank yeah. you again, John, for thank coming. Thank you, Ida. <laughs>